Okay, um, <clears throat> that's a stand-up comic you bomb, and one of my early bombing stories, I remember I was booked at a gig in Delaware, and uh, I got my friend on it to open for me, uh, and because we lived in the same neighborhood, and we drove together. It was like an hour drive. We got there, uh, and the room was upstairs, and it was like a sports bar, and uh, there was pool tables everywhere, and TVs were on, and the guy was like, we got to start right now. So my buddy's about to go up, and I'm like, Okay, everything's in disarray. People are sitting far back. People are playing pool. The TVs are on. I'm like, look, if you could just move them up and do about 15 minutes, because I have to do 45 minutes, and this is, I was like three years in, so I, I didn't really have the time. So I was like, if you could move them up and kind of arrange the room and then do some material, uh, that would be great to bring me up. He's like, no problem, no problem. And uh, I'm like, okay, like, Seriously, ask them to shut the TVs off from the stage, ask them to stop playing pool, ask them to move up. He's like, dude, I got it. It's great. So he goes up and um, <clears throat> there's a baby right in the front. There's a, a family and they have a baby right in the front. So he goes up and does one joke and it gets nothing and they don't listen to him at all. And the TVs are still on, the uh, pool tables are still going and people are still scattered. And he does one joke and, though, and then goes, now for your headlining comic. And he brings me up. Now I'm, I come up and I have 45 minutes I'm contracted to do. There's a family with a baby in the front. And I'm doing my jokes and it's getting nothing. And I'm not sure if you guys could appreciate how awkward it is to do your jokes and it gets absolutely nothing. But the only thing that's happening is after every joke the baby is crying. So I'm just doing my jokes to a crying baby. Finally. The guy, the father, gets up, he gets up and starts changing the baby in the middle of my set. And as he's changing the baby, he's, he's telling me, you're doing great, I just have to do this because that's why he's crying. And uh, so he's like, I can't decide whether he's the worst father for bringing his baby to a bar or he's the best father for being very supportive towards me as he's changing his child. So. Um, I managed to get through it. You have to do those things, you have to work through them, and that's, we all have those stories. You have to muscle, try to make the best out of that situation is the moral of the story, I would say.